Welcome back. We just got some new updates on the Fulio case. New footage has been found and they investigate in Tampa PD right now to figure out the situation that happened to Fulio and his crew where they had gotten into an altercation and robbed somebody right before the people pulled up to their hotel. So to find out what happened, make sure you watch this whole video and subscribe to the channel. So they saying that before Fulio and them went to the Holiday Inn, that they ran up on somebody and they robbed them of all this type of stuff, blinkies, straps, AKs, and everything like that. And so the real reason by why they already had people hot on their trail is because they just like hit a lick on one of the big homies from uh, ATK and everything like that. So they were already texting, messaging, and back and forth trying to meet up and meet with this dude so they could set up how they was going to pretty much hit a stain on him. So once they met up with the dude, they when they met up at the McDonald's restaurant area parking lot, Fulio's cousin pulled up and he he swung the guy's door open and threw him out the car. This is what how they were able to get in his car and take everything out the back seat and all that. They put it in their trunk and they the guy ran back into the passenger car and they basically drove off. But they already knew that that was Fulio and his crew, first of all. Fulio and his car showed up so everybody that's Fulio's ops right now all of his enemies they already knew he was driving in the gray charger the silver one so he had that for when he got pulled over by the and it's on body cam he had it in the body cam footage when he got pulled over twice he had that same car when he got hit up last year and he had the same car from the three years ago when the first like the the person got dropped so they already knew that that was Fulio plus he was with his homies and the whole crew that he hangs with. So they already know he's in Tampa for the show. When they went and hit the lick on the dude, that guy, they, they already knew that guy is from ATK. This is the reason why they even wanted to do it was to get revenge back at Young and Ace and all of the people that their crew had basically feuded with and taken out from Fulio's side. So now once they got the loot, they end up spinning back to the hotel to the Holiday Inn. At the Holiday Inn, they start partying. They start feeling all hype because they just think that they got away with hitting a lick on the ATK dude, Youngin Ace's big homie. So when they get back to the hotel, this is the reason why they took out their phone and went to Instagram and started talking about, hey, we at the Holiday Inn. It's a party at this address. Come pull up on us. And they start dropping their location because they already know the ops are looking for them. Their, their enemies are looking for them. And they're basically trying to rub it in their face that they just robbed the one dude and that they're going back to the hotel. And they're just kind of like putting it in their face like you ain't really going to pull up, but we're going to tell you to pull up because they want to make it seem like they're not scared and that they're not hiding after pulling off what they just pulled off because they just they just took the dude for a hundred thousand dollars they just robbed him for a hundred k so when they get back to the holiday inn they feeling themselves they over here spreading the money out he had money with him he had jewelry everything like that so they just got they just came up on all this cash all this jewelry they just they got the sticks now they can move how they want to move protect themselves all that kind of stuff so they they start like putting too much out there talking about their hotel the holiday inn they didn't think that they were going to get kicked out of there so when they start posting on social media yeah we at the holiday inn pulled up to the kickback it's the after party for fulio people that was looking for them they seen that video so they start calling the hotel telling them it's a party going on in this room you need to kick them out we we've been having complaints all day so they call and complain so that they kick fulio and them out once they kick them out the plan was to catch them lacking in the parking lot and this is exactly how it went down they made the phone call to the front desk of the hotel usually the front desk of the hotel when somebody complains you got to talk to the manager so they get the manager on the phone and they try to act like they customers of the hotel. They're like, yeah, these people have been keeping us up all day, all night. Da, 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 da. We smell some things are coming from there. And it is, uh, they keep yelling and pounding on the walls. And we heard them um, uh, spraying champagne in the room and everything. So they say, they say what they had to say to get security to go up there and kick them out. Fully on them didn't know that the ops were getting ready to ambush them right, right as soon as they get out that door. They already had the laser sights on Fulio and everything like that. When they opened the door, they the first dude walked down the stairs. 
Then they still arguing with the security guard. Fulio start walking down the stairs. And then once they, that's when people start getting into the position. The dudes with the ski masks, they start getting into position to where every turn out of that out of that parking spot, they got somebody waiting right there. So as soon as Fulio and them start backing the car up and they put it in drive, that's when they all run out the cut. The dudes with the masks run out the cut. They, they put the stick up. And this is when he makes that right turn. As soon as Fulio makes the right turn, this is when the footage shows the guy running by the bushes and literally stopping him in front of, he stood in front of the car and he starts banging through the windshield. Bow, 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 bow. Then the car keep going. It starts slowing down. You could tell somebody just definitely got hit inside of there. So when the car come to a complete stop, they already riddled it with holes. The tires are all flat. Windows get smashed and everything like that. So when Tampa PD shows up, they didn't know that it was three dudes and, and they're trying to figure out how this all happened. They thought somebody had a switch. And so they they once they seen the footage, then they realized, oh, this is an ambush. This was a setup. So they knew to start the investigation there. They started sweeping for fingerprints. But the first thing they did is they took the co the yellow caution tape, the yellow police line, do not cross tape. And they put it all over the perimeter of the car. This is when that famous picture got put out there with the windshield all busted and you see the yellow um do not cross tape and that's that's tape is supposed to keep anybody from entering the crime scene and basically they could they could move items around they don't want nobody to touch anything they want to preserve the whole evidence they want to preserve the shell cases any type of fingerprints anything like if somebody had uh even if a, a drop of spit or anything like that would pretty much like could solve this whole thing so they didn't want no one messing around fulio's car they don't want nobody to search it or nothing so that's when they put the yellow tape up and you already seen who fulio's and, and his friends already getting carted away they put him in the ambulance because they had to quickly rush him like especially fulio he was critical he was already pretty much pronounced doa as soon as they got on the scene they just had to put him in the paramedic because of any type of chance you know that he might have if they did this or that but at the end of the day they all pretty much got hit up they were hanging around fulio fulio was pretty much inviting this to happen to him because allegedly they just robbed somebody from that group that just got that they're already beefing with and apparently he starts telling them to pull up to his hotel, pull up to his Airbnb and all that kind of stuff. And it's a lot being said about if he was in the Airbnb or if he was in the hotel. But the Holiday Inn does not let Airbnb out. So they must have already had another spot that they might have got followed from. They did not stay in Tampa for just one day. So there's a lot more details being released as everything is coming out and you got to stay tuned for all the updates because right now they're getting to the bottom of this and they're about to solve this entire case let me know are y'all put the r.i.p to fulio let me know who y'all rocking with are y'all from florida let me know where y'all from and basically they're pretty much coming with a lot of breaking news emerging details that's pretty much going to put this whole entire thing on top of his head and put it up for a spin so we're gonna see what ends up happening the the witnesses and everything they're getting their statements together because at the end of the day there were people who saw what happened but they're not a part of the street life they were just people walking through the hotel parking lot they might have been driving around or they might have been a janitor this and that so a lot of the witnesses that aren't about the street they might go and pretty much give the statement and, and the description of the the shooters and everything like that but once they put everything together tampa pd is working with jacksonville pd and they know that duval county they've been trying to take down atk and young and ace and all of those dudes for a long time and this might just put them getting a rico done on them and so this is the breaking news that's about to happen so stay tuned for everything